After to review, review the, play, the play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep, those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. The kick is up, it's got the distance, and it's good! Florida is ready to kick it away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Down, right around the 28 yard line. A gain of three yards by the fullback. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. Here's an opening. Nice run to the outside. That was a good play by the halfback. Picked up about five yards on the option. That'll bring up 32. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Mike 12. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. He makes his way to about the 42, and the fullback made him pay big time on that little run. No joke. He busted through there for some nice, nice yardage. He's at the 40. He goes down oh, at the 30. Perfectly run option keeper. Not what you'd expect when you prepare First all time. week to defend the option. But then again, give this offense some credit. These guys aren't exactly the scout team. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Mike 12. Mike 12. Down. Blue 19. Blue 19. He's at the 20. He's tackled around the 14-yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. Four down, four down. Mike 12, Mike 12. Down. Oklahoma. Hey. Gets to about the 11 yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. This is the eighth play of this drive. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. He's pushed out of bounds at about the five-yard line. Excellent job here by the defense to snip that one out before it turned into a first down. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. He's taken down at the seven-yard line. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on downs. They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. Nice catch on that one. Tackle at the 16. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. They'll bring him down at the 41.
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 41 yard line. Scrambling around. He's going to take off. Tackle made at midfield. The Gators call a timeout. That's their second of the half. tries to buy some time he's at the 40 and they make the stop at about the 37 yard line caught and he's out of bounds that's a loss that makes it second and ten, second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Here we go. Red 68. Red 68. He scrambled. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. Check, check. That's a great tackle at the 39. That's a loss of four yards. That makes it fourth and 12. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. Kicks up, and he got it! It's been a well-fought game as we head to the half. The Gators with a 16-point lead. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. These teams only play one game a week, only 12 games in a normal regular season. I think fans have a hard time understanding why their squad can come out and play without any energy, any emotion. Keep it real with us. Tell us what it's like. Why is it hard for a player sometimes in a game like this? Well, if the fans showed the same emotion, then maybe we would too as a player. Because think about it. When I walk out there and I'm playing one of the big dogs, the stadium's rocking. They're, they're going crazy. They're going ballistic. They're hydrated. You know exactly what's going on. They're into it. They've been tailgating for hours. Well, there's a reason these little games they don't get up for us. They don't get as excited. They're not yelling and screaming as much. That you could you could turn the it's like you turn the volume down at home. I mean, you can hear the difference. I know the difference. I know I'm supposed to beat this opponent. It's really a matter of just by how much I'm supposed to win by. So there is a difference. You can feel it in the fans, and, and you can feel it sometimes as a player. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Well, this defense has got to be proud of what they've been able to do in this football game so far. Love to see the goose eggs up there for this defense. And the way their offense is playing, this game is really shaping together for this team. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's on the run. 
Quick thinking here by the quarterback to not only avoid the pressure, but also avoid throwing the ball into coverage. To top it off, he reached the marker. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. He makes it to the 48-yard line. That brings us second and nine. Pitches back. Gets out to around the 38. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. First down. From the 38-yard line, it's first down. Mike 12. Set. Hut. He makes it to the 35-yard line. That's a deep three. That'll make it 77. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Here's the eighth play of the series. Roger, Roger. Mike 12. Mike 12. Six man. Makes it out to about the 20. Call it a gain of eight yards. First down. From the 20-yard line. First down. The offense gets set as they attempt to put an end to these red zone blues. Right down after a nice run up the middle. Three, maybe four yards there on the option to the fullback. That makes it second and six. And this is the tenth play of the drive. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. So we're looking at another third down here. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. Touchdown, and it ain't over yet. He hits the PAT. A 12-play, 74-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize the defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line. First down. They'll get him for a loss. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. Ready! White 80! 
He fights forward to about the 36. No gain. That brings up third and 10. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 36 yard line. into the halfback on the screen. He's taken down at about the 45. Number 92 makes the tackle at the 45-yard line. Fourth down. We go to work. He really got a hold of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And he is drilled at the 29. Call the gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Four down, four down. Mike 12, Mike 12. Set. And he's leveled at the 39-yard line. So at the end of three, the Gators lead 16-7. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Focus, defense, focus. Set. Tackled for a loss. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. From their own 39-yard line, second down. He's at midfield. And down he goes to the 38-yard line. That's a deep First down. yard line. It's second down. And he hits him hard at the 30-yard line. That'll make it 31. You ain't going nowhere. Mike 12. Mike 12. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. He takes it right side for a good game. Gaining four yards. And this play is number eight on the drive. Watch two, watch two. Hey, that QB's trash. Let's go. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. If this offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play calls. From the 28 yard line. Second down. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Tenth play of the drive. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. The cavalry's coming, and that one's incomplete. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. The kick is up. It's got the distance, and he splits the uprights. Everyone's 
Ends all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I tell you what, this is something Pollock could love. Crunch time and a defensive battle. Right, he's sitting back at that studio loving this. Two defenses that are really imposing their will on these two offenses. Maybe they can even score to help out one of these offenses win the game. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Throws complete, he's hit right away. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Florida up six. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down at the 41-yard line. The play was very well conceived as they were able to get a decent gain in a first down. First and 10, ball on the 41. Quick throw. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. A one-yard gain by the halfback. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. They're packed in tight on the line. Ready, white, 80, white. He fights forward to about the 40. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll bring a third and six. Scrambling. Just a tremendous job by that defense. And their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. Florida with a six-point lead. Scoring points was a special occasion on this day. It's final, 16-10, Gators. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.